Good morning, Dons. Welcome back to CCTV. Man, I can't believe it's already episode 12. I know, right? Let's head over to Bella to learn a bit more about the Surfrider Foundation. Hey, Dons. I'm here with Abby McQuaid, the president of the Surfrider Club here at Cathedral. So first, tell us a little bit about your club. Um, my club's goal is to protect and advocate for the ocean, and we do this by hosting beach cleanups. So what are a few things that you guys have participated in this year already? Earlier this year, my club participated in the Paddle for Clean Water event, and we also have monthly beach cleanups and meetings. What are some of your goals for your club this year? One of our main goals this year is to cancel the usage of plastic water bottles at Cathedral, and we're doing this by having our uh, members of our club really advocate for bringing your own water bottles to school and using water bottle stations that are located all around our campus. So what are some ways that students on our campus can get involved? Well, you can come to our monthly meetings, our monthly beach cleanups, and you can also support sustainable ways of living. Thank you so much, Abby. If you guys want to stay updated on their events and meetings, make sure to follow their Instagram. Back to you guys. Thanks, Bella. There's so many clubs to get involved with at our school. Let's go talk to the drama program to learn a bit more about the school play coming up. Hey Dons, I'm here with Ms. Wilson and a few of the cast members for this year's fall production and I'm here to get a deeper look on what goes on behind the scenes. I'm here with the cast member Grace and Grace, can you speak on the importance of the musical this year? The production is the first musical that is going to be open since COVID. We are going to now have a live audience and this year's musical is called All Together Now. It's basically a bunch of different songs from a bunch of different musicals all mixed into one musical and it's going to be a great production. What days of the production and where can we find the tickets? Well, the first show is tomorrow at 10 a.m. and the next two shows are Monday and Tuesday starting at 3 p.m. You can find the tickets online. What is the full process of creating the production? It's been quite a long process. We started auditions in uh, about late August, and since then we've been practicing every week. We've also had wonderful tech people to help us, and we've been doing choreography for the last couple weeks, and now we're in tech week. How can students who are interested in the next production get involved? Well, we have two really big musicals coming up, and we're accepting video submissions for auditions starting just a couple of weeks, actually. And our dance call is on Saturday, December 4th. That's a mandatory dance call for everyone who wants to be involved and be considered in one, for one of the musicals. Also, we need a huge tech team for both of those shows, too. So there are lots of ways you can get involved. Just email me, kwilson at cathedralcatholic.org, or visit our Schoology site. Thank you, Ms. Wilson, and the cast of the production this year. Make sure to buy tickets online, because it'll be a great musical. Back to you guys. There's a lot of sports coming up with the new season starting. Let's head on over to Aiden with all the updates. What's up, Dons? And welcome back to this episode of CCTV Sports. To start us off, football's round one CIF game is against Mission Hills tonight at home. While Mission is also 8-2, we are set up nicely to bring home a dub against the Grizzlies and advance to round two. Be there at seven to show some support. Here's Franco for some more insight on the matchup. What's up, Don? It's Franco. This week we return from a short break with the game against Mission Hills. It's a home game at seven. Make sure to show up wearing neon. Two players caught my eye from this team, Jaden Latua and Matt Martin. Jaden Latua is a middle linebacker. He's a hard hitter and averages seven tackles a game. Matt Martin plays wide receiver and averages about two touchdowns a game. But that'll be light work for our DBs, Marcus Ratcliffe and Donovan Saunders. And our O-line will just end up getting easy pancakes with Jaden Latua. So once again, this should be another easy dub. Thanks, Franco. The girls' volleyball team are now CIF champions. They flew high through the playoffs against Scripps Trance, San Marcos, and then LCC in the finals. In addition to this, they did not drop a game in all three rounds in the playoffs, going 9-0 for games. They move on to tournaments for state next week. For the boys' beach volleyball team, in addition to crushing CIF playoffs, Dominic Engels and Patrick Buckle took down individual tournaments going undefeated in not just the tournament, but also across the entire year. They remain number one, and their championship rings are to come. Congrats to both of them and the whole team for a dominating run this year. Girls field hockey took a loss against the tough La Jolla team to end the season, but remain with a solid 12-8-1 record. Congrats to the team and 
the seniors for hopefully an enjoyable last season. Baseball has been practicing recently, and with winter ball coming into season soon, let's hear from Jacob for more on the team. I'm down here at the baseball field for one reason and one reason only, winter ball season has started. Now I know a lot of you are thinking, what is winter ball and why should I care for it? Well, I'm gonna meet with a few members of the team so you can learn more about it. Winter baseball is kind of like a uh, preseason of the regular season. Uh, if you ever heard of like spring training, uh, it's kind of like that. We've only been practicing for maybe like a month, month and a half, uh, twice a week. Uh, first game uh, is December 4th. Uh, we're gonna have games once a week um, through December and then a couple in January. And uh, yeah. Uh, our team practices on Tuesday and Thursday and on the side, everybody pretty much hits and throws when we don't have practice. Pitchers throw on six or seven days a week. Everybody's, you know, spending time in the gym, spending time on the tee, getting better. It just kind of creates a better team bond between us. Uh, most of our guys hang out outside of practice as well, but uh, I'd say just more practice and uh, gets us closer as a team. A couple of big guys that graduated last year are uh, Shea Linehan and uh, Patrick Barnum, one of the hardest working players I've ever seen. And uh, you know we're seeing guys uh, Matthew Allen stepping up to fill, the, fill some roles this year, Maverick Helfert and uh, Frankie Tarantino looking to put together a really good pitching staff. I'd say Brandon Stevens was probably one of the more key players of last year, but I think his shoes will be able to be replaced with uh, Sean McDermott and Maverick Helfert this year. Cody Litowitz for UCSB, Matthew Allen going to UCI, and uh, we got Sean McDermott. Number three, one, two, three, go! <laughs> Thanks, Jacob. Also, for all the ladies who started soccer trials on Monday, best of luck for when the rosters are released. That does it for sports this week. Congrats to all teams for their CIF performances. Over to Social. Hey, Dons, welcome back to Social. Let's take a look at our Instagram page from this week. First, let's take a look at our story. We asked you all what your plans were for break, and we had some great responses. We also put up some great Thanksgiving polls. Lastly, let's take a look at part two of our three-part Thanksgiving IGTV series. Who do you guys want to say thank you to on the staff? Uh, I'm thankful for Coach X, because last year as a freshman, he really made me feel welcome. Uh, I'm thankful for Coach Montali, because he's a really good coach, a good person. I really want to say thanks to Miss Karen. She's my English 4 teacher. I really like her class. She taught me a lot of English skills, improved my writings. I like her class so much. Uh, I'm thankful for Steve because he keeps us safe and he's really fun. Tonight's football game is at home at 7 p.m. The theme is neon. Thanks for watching, Dons. We'll see you next week on CCTV.